to Benny Sick. I'm your girl Benny and today I'm super duper excited to be bringing back the gorgeous, the fabulous, the most annoying, uh, the pain in my butt, um, my longest friend who I cannot get rid of. Uh, please give it up to Shatika Knight. We're going to have to work on your introduction. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Clap for my friend. Y'all, I thought I'd have, you know, Shatika over for a little glass of wine while we discuss all of the fooleries. Chase it with the wine. Chase, chase it with, with the, the wine. wine. Okay, we're going to chase... We're going to chase all of the foolery that's been happening online with a little <laughs> bit of wine. And if you're interested, we're having this Palacio de Menad. Why would you even try to pronounce that? I just wanted to be fancy. But this is the cover, y'all. If y'all care to go get it, I got it from a wine subscription because I'm grown like that. We don't but, give out um, free promo unless they sponsor I'm it. I'm not you. giving them free promo. I didn't say which <laughs> wine subscription I got it from. Okay. But, cheers. but just know you can pay Benny to sponsor you. You can pay. You can book subscription me. Subscription services. Yes, you can. Please tell the people how you're doing since the last I'm time you was here. Good. All of the things. Um, I don't think I. I don't. I don't know. Why don't you know? If I'll have my first video out by the time this video comes out. Probably Please harass not. her in the comments. Because yeah. I've been like, go post the videos. But the it's videos. coming. It's it. coming. Just why, why, why? What's the hold up? Like, I feel like I got to ask you this. Like, why I got to get up? My, um, my intro and all of that stuff situated. I want it to look a certain way. It sounds to me like we're having a whole lot of excuses. Excuse me? Excuses is what we were having. <laughs> I, that's just what I'm trying. I'm gonna put it out here. Yeah, Tika is funny. I am. Like Tika is incredible. Like she be coming over here acting quiet. Like y'all think I'm crazy? Tika is, Tika is wild. So so please go down in the comments. Channel, you know, the video is coming. Tell that Benny, video's gonna come by the time Jesus comes himself. Tell Benny. <laughs> tell, mm -hmm. <laughs> tell Benny. Be and video and and tell her to make me an intro all, and a banner. For, uh, a banner is easy. We could make it on Canva. Okay. I got a Canva. We could make it on Canva. That's easy. Yeah, and an intro. I ain't gonna make you no intro. You Why? can make your own intro. Matter of fact, I ain't even gonna make you the the the, the, the what you want to call it the banner. You could make your own banner. Yep. I'm gonna give you my Canva account though. See? Please, Canva, don't come see, at me. See, see what a friend she is? She got talents. Won't help me. I'm encouraging you. I'm gonna show you how to do it, but I ain't gonna sit there and do it for you. Okay. But, anyways, how have you been? What's going on in your world? How is work? What are the things? Tell me all of the tea. Work is good. Life is good. I'm good. Good as started a new job. Okay, how are you liking it? I'm an office girly now. Nine to five. I'm still in nine to five, okay? Waking up in the mornings is hard, but, mm -hmm. you know, I've been doing it. Betty calls me every morning. <laughs> and I thought when you called me this morning, I was like, did she forget I don't work on the weekend? <laughs> no, I just called you to call you. I was like, let's record. I was like, okay. Yeah. But yeah, Benny calls me every morning to make sure I'm up because... You see what a supportive friend I am? I be calling no, her every morning. That's a real supportive friend. I don't so make sure I that have... she's up. Any other friend that would be willing to call me every morning to make sure I'm up. I don't have any other friend. And I only asked her to do it for, like, my first two days because, like, I had to stay up late um, for some other stuff. Mm -hmm. And she just kept calling me the rest of the week. She said, I'm just going to make sure you up. Because <laughs> I don't be sure. I'll call her. She won't be answering. I'll be like, girl, it is 8.30. Like, get up. What you like, mean? Like, get up. Like, what you doing? And then I get up. And sometimes I get up late and I just be rushing. to like, oh, shit, let me call Betty and tell her she woke me up. Like, I'll see her and I, I'll see her call me. And then I'll look at the time and be like, oh, shit, let me get ready. <laughs> But they're like, oh, I'm, I'm, uh. I'm a loyal friend. She is. And uh, speaking of loyalty and uh, relationships and everything in between, we thought we'd react to a lady who decided to celebrate her birthday <laughs> in an unexpected way. Uh, let's just go ahead and find the video. We're just going to go ahead and play it right here. Wait, hold on, let me play it again. And on your 40th birthday, you set yourself a challenge, which was that you would sleep with 40 men in one, in day. one day. That was my birthday present for myself. I'm surprised you could walk after that. A bit of a sore back, but no, it's fine. And, and so you, did, you, did, did, you, did you afterwards think, you know, what, what, what am I doing? 
No. No. I had the most fantastic day. Um, afterwards, me and husband sat there then, having a drink all night. I'm gonna go ahead and end it there. Thoughts. Since you are the guest, please give me your initial thoughts on this 40-year-old celebrating her 40th birthday by sleeping with 40 men in one day. Please, Shatika, weigh in on this. Go ahead and wait and let us know what your thoughts are. You know, Benny, mm -hmm. listening to this brought a wheel of emotions over me initially. Mm -hmm. but, ultimately, but ultimately, I really feel in my heart, mm -hmm. I couldn't be prouder. <laughs> This woman. Yeah. How many people get them, them yeah. their own birthday gift? Like, how many people get yeah. them the, themselves a yeah. birthday gift? And yeah. not only I did she give her a birthday gift, she said, I'm going to treat myself. Treat real myself. Good. And I'm proud food. of her. I need she to go did what she same. wanted. Same. I got a couple of questions, but yes. Please, she did what she ahead. wanted. Do you know these 40 men? Like, what is the process? You know what I'm saying? Like, are well, you... some of these men strangers? Or were they like friends? Past experiences. You know what I'm saying? Because how do you gather 40 Because men? I got a couple exes that's on my list. Are you gonna, is that how you're going to celebrate your 20th, uh, 27th birthday? Comment down below if you would like to apply Listen. for my story. <laughs> Not an application, not a... Yo, Wait, okay. I'm turning 27? Are you now? Damn. Girl, <laughs> how you not know your age? I thought I was still 25. Wait, you turned 25 last year, girl. I turned 26 this year. Yes, you did. You turned 26 this year. 27 men? Damn. 27 men, I baby. could do it. I could do it. But how would you do that? Is Are you lining them up? As in, like, this no, is already right. now. And I like to cuddle after and watch TV, so like. That's got, not gonna take you the whole day. 27? Gotta, that's half of what she got. I, I, like, I'm not gonna, at the age. If you gotta, if you gotta where, snuggle, if you gotta be like, oh, that's, that's enough time. Money. That's enough time with 27 men. Okay, Girl. Wait. Well, okay, so then when are you studying? Are you studying at like 5 a.m.? Okay, so are there's you 24 studying at hours noon? in the day. But eight of them, assuming eight of them, you're sleeping. But if you're excited, you I don't need to like, sleep on my birthday. But the thing, okay, so you're excited because guess what? 27 men about to come over here, you know, and give you the good dick. You know what I'm saying? Or an average dick. I don't know what kind of dick they're going to be offering, right? I need so a mixture. You're excited. Some good, some amazing, some average. So if you're excited, maybe you get like six to seven hours of sleep. So then that means you wake up around... 6.30 a.m. Realistically, why would you sleep? But why would you not sleep? If you got a long it's, it's day ahead of fuck. you, not but you got a long day ahead of you, you got to get proper <laughs> rest because science says if a woman sleeps well, her libido increases by like 14 Okay, but you'll take like a mini nap when you cuddle. No. You got to be fully sleep rested. Sleep the day before. She should have been prepping the day before. I'm sure she prepped the day before. Okay, but if you're not a wizard or a witch, <laughs> you got to sleep at night. Because what is you doing at night? Just like sitting here like, ooh. You fucking. I'm waiting. <laughs> no, you got. It's but that's what I'm saying. The day that before. Be a gift. It got to be to so wake up. So you would up. start at 12 a.m. the day of your birthday. 12 a.m. The whole day before, you could sleep, you could eat, you could exercise, you could stretch. Okay. You could do whatever you need to so do. So 12 a.m. is when you start However you like. It, okay. Whatever. First of all, prep. don't do shit. That's do nasty. It. That's nasty. Your don't pH do balance shit. should be natural do and normal without that. But okay. some women do. Okay. We don't judge the women who do. So then you start at 12 a.m. What's your routine? Like, what is what is like? Well, how my, is it gonna work out for you? Are you are you renting? A I would hotel? have to calculate the time. Give, a hotel. Give me the best scenario. A hotel. Because at these all these 27 men coming at your house. Damn, I didn't think about that. You know what I'm saying? Because what if we well, I got the, you know, the big TV, the comfortable bed, you know. But I, they're they're comfortable. Hotel just, sex is amazing. Yeah, but like, you don't have the the um amenities of your house in a hotel. Like getting up, going to the fridge. If you want to go to the vending machine, you got to put on clothes. <laughs> but then again, if you're gonna gift yourself that, you kind of have to plan ahead, right? Like, are you gonna maybe Airbnb? 
Okay, cause you gotta feed them or something. Or they what the hell? It's my out. birthday. Okay. They should be coming over with flowers and chicken in their hand. Okay, so then go. <laughs> First of all, flowers and chicken is wild. Boneless well, lemon pepper. Boneless is nasty. If you're gonna eat a wing, I mean, you have to have boneless. But then that's not take up more time, cause you know I gotta pick out the veins and stuff out of my chicken. So that's taking up more time, and I got 27 men to fuck. So. So then, okay, assuming. And I'm telling you, only so five of them one. getting the work. I'm putting the pussy on five of them. The <laughs> the rest, you gonna you gonna give me on my. Back. So what is the routine then? <laughs> oh, oh, girl, you gonna have uh, what you might call it. Uh, what is that thing when you, oh my God. What? What's that thing where your booty hole, uh, what's that disease? <sighs> it ain't hernia. Monkey pox? No, not monkey pox. Oh, hemorrhoids? Hemorrhoids, you gonna catch hemorrhoids. Ain't nobody putting their dick in my butt. I thought that's what you say, you gonna give them butt shots. No, I said they gonna give me on my back. Like laying down on my back. Ah. Uh, shower in between each man. I don't know how homegirl did it, but I know girls. I feel like she too. She may have taken like a whole bath in between I've heard like stories. men number 10. I've heard stories of girls who didn't even shower in between. So like, I wouldn't be surprised if she didn't. But me personally, I gotta take a whole shower. Because the thing Cause is, you have to, I have to wipe hours. the last person off of me. Yeah. I want it to feel like brand new when the next person come in. Yeah, you gotta like pee it out and yeah. make sure everything. So what are the policies? Are you letting them come in? They like, Tika really want this? <laughs> What if she hit up her husband like, babe? Oh, that's another thing. Wait, 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 wait. I'm gonna be her, I'm gonna be her. Mm hmm Babe. Yes? You know how we said that I could do the 40 man for my birthday? Yes, sure, darling. I kind of like Joshua. Not Joshua! Joshua! Not Joshua! Joshua! Not Joshua! Joshua! <laughs> homeboy smash your girl for her birthday that's real if you let wait 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 it's my don't tell girl. me she had 40 men and her husband wasn't even one like that would be my first question like am i gonna be one of them wait 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 because in the video she says we all sat the for one we sat, at, we sat for one after he don't love you her know, no it has to be real love because who in the right mind he was fucking like, 27 i mean 40 <laughs> He don't love her. Because he said, bitch, I can't even be one. Like, did you start with me? Did you end with me? I mean, at the very least, you kind of have to, you know, you have to be respectful of your husband <laughs> in it. In it. You got to go ahead and start with your husband and get you 39 others but, at the wait, end. Wait, wait, wait. Imagine there's a line. <laughs> Next. And the husband, the husband, the husband He's made the cut. He's the one cut. coordinating. No, no, no. He made the cut. So he in the 40, right? So he next in line, the husband mm -hmm. next in line. Mm -hmm. Joshua will come out. It's your turn, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna kill that bitch. I'm gonna kill that bitch. Now you gotta die. Oh, you, you, got, you can follow that. Oh my god. You know, you that's crazy. That, crazy. that would be wild. Girl. Girl. Oh, that yeah. is real love. I don't know how that went down, but you know, see, that I is real love. So 27 minutes. I can't even. The thing is, you can't even shame the shameless. Cause she, that's she what, was that's proud. What I think she was proud. She said, "This is who she I like, am." And the thing for me is, when I say women have autonomy over their body and they can do as they please, I never imagined that. That, <laughs> that was that's one of the things. Like, I didn't think that you would really take that to me. Like, let me go ahead and line up. 40 men and it still shows the stigma that there is over women because why if a guy said yeah i fuck 40 bitches for my birthday they'd be like oh shit nigga you pull 40 bitches word i'm okay with that stigma still existing on both sides please keep the stigma we I, need to bring like, back shame we need to bring back fear 
but the ultimate reality is there are females out there who enjoy sex just as much as men. I'm not negating that. Maybe like, okay, five a day, you know what I'm saying? Like, get you five, you know, make it, okay, you know, because for me, I like to celebrate my birthday all month long. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Maybe you'd be like, okay, five one week. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Even five a day. Maybe choose five dudes. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's like your weekly rotation. <laughs> and maybe you just have like one dude for like that one day. That's All not four your days, husband. Or four day days. <laughs> <laughs> she fought Monday to Friday. Rested on Saturday and Sunday. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Balance. 40 in one day is wild. And y'all yeah. can't cancel me for this. I, I just said it. That is wild. It was a line? I don't know. Did she coordinate times? Okay. Like, how are you directing So, what that? if she said, okay, Jason, your time slot is for 4.30. Jason, get there at 4.30. Sorry, we ran over time a little bit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, how are you managing that? Uh, hey, oh, and then the But husband. I'm proud of her. Nonetheless, I don't I'm care. I'm very proud. I proud. can't shame her. Yep, you like, can. I cannot shame her. She, she was very up, proud. Up. She said, in it, could have been for soba, in it. Could have been for soba. A soba, like <laughs> she said, bruh. a sorbet, not a bud. Oh, same thing. Soba, you know, so back in it, girl. Did her? What if she got done with the forty men and it was like, babe, I have a soba pop. Can you massage it for me? Yeah? <laughs> Bitch, you want me to massage you? He wouldn't mind. He just got. He, he wouldn't, wouldn't mind. He, he agreed to go for her to go, and then they said then had wine. He probably He's did dead right now. He, like, how was your day, sweetie? He did something like he fucked her sister. Like, I fucked your sister while you were fucking forty men. Listen, something had to have been like us. So me, you, you like, asked me some dumb shit like that. My man ever asked me some dumb shit. Go ahead. Mhm. Mm and the house gonna get blown the fuck up while you went all forty of them bitches will. in there. And it will. Ask me some dumb shit like that. I mm -mm. wish he would. Mm -mm. Girl. Forty men. Forty men is wild. But hey, she, well, I, I could see it, like, you know, like, oh, if it was, like, for my 21st birthday, for my 20th, even then, like, you know, it's still, but, like. That's crazy. That's wild to me. But congratulations 40, to you, man. I'm proud of you. I'm Keep we're doing very you. proud. Keep being you. You know, because now I'm anticipating, what is she going to do for her 50th? You know, is she going to rent out a sex orgy and have everybody, like, like, what is she doing for her 50th? You know, because how do you top that? That's a lie. Girl. You know, like, I just want to bow my head. My, you know, bow your head. Let's just pray for her vagina right now. Father God, <laughs> renew <laughs> and Restore. strengthen. Restore. Shana <laughs> Lava Revive. Hey. Father God, do it, God. Do it in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Speaking of relationships <coughs> and dating and all of the things, I came across this story that I wanted to get your take on. Let me know what you think about this. Let me see. Actually, when I divorced, I said, I'm dating younger. I said, my daughters now have two daughters, one older. They're 10 years apart. And I said to them, I said, I'm going to date younger. And they said, hey, we don't care as long as they don't hurt you. And we know you ain't going to let that happen or use you. It's what I prefer because I have a young soul. I have a young spirit. I have young ideals. I take care of myself. You know, I run, I walk. I wanted somebody that was going to keep me youthful. One of the things that I prayed, and I don't want to make this deep, to the Lord is that I would continue to be relevant to this generation. And look, I'm sitting with y'all. Old, old dude. And most of the people that follow me is your generation, based upon statistics. So I wanted to stay relevant. I wanted to stay young. And that So, homeboy is an older man exactly how old but he you can see after the divorce you, you can see, you can see that he's he old you can see. maybe in his 60s 50s 60s 50s yeah. 60s um after his divorce he decides that he's only gonna date young please Shatika, let me know your thoughts on this uh why you think about it because you just watched this i watched this a little bit earlier my first initial thought was when he had said i want to stay relevant and i want to stay young Something about that makes me feel some type of way. Only because I, in my culture at least, we value our elders, right? So growing up and getting older is something that is a beautiful thing. I look forward to when I'm older. I look forward to when, you know, uh, hopefully by God's grace, I live long and I'm wiser. I believe that my relevancy is based off of who I am and who God has called me to be, mm -hmm. not because of my youth. Mm -hmm. 
I felt like he was clinging on to his youth as if being young is what makes him relevant. Mm. That's what made me feel like, you know, some type of way. One. Number two for me, it low-key feels a little... I feel like predatorial is a harsh term, but I feel like you have lived your life. Like you have lived your life. Why are you chasing young girls? So for me... There are... Because the thing is... Let me finish my oh, okay, The thing is, uh, if you're an older man who has a youthful spirit... I'm sure there are all the women your age who also have a youthful, youthful spirit, who also keep up with their bodies, who also have made sure that they didn't age in a way that's just kind of like, you know, we let ourselves loose. There are women who exist like that. Why not go for them? Why go younger? Because I feel like not for everybody, but the older that you get, the more hopefully you're maturing but you're living life at a pace that's like you know appropriate for your age when you meet or you mate with somebody that is a little bit older than you i feel like they can start influencing you in a way that's like almost like aging you the younger person and i feel like that's not fair it's one thing to be like oh we're just like you know life was happening and i fell in love it's a whole nother thing to be like i specifically date young for this very reason and i'm just kind of like yeah maybe predatory is a little bit of a harsh term but i don't know what other term to to use for that it yeah. just feels like no let these young people be young like you don't need to come here with your old ass mm -hmm. like no and intentionally if, if you fell in love like you know the person just happens to be young hey you know you can't control who you fall in love with although that's a whole nother mm -hmm. story but to just be like, I only date young because I have a young soul. There are people your age who also have a young soul and who have done all of the things. But I want to hear your thoughts now. Let me stop talking. So, uh, <laughs> off the bat, I don't want to make it seem like we're judging this guy because, you know, we watched a 30-second clip. Mm -hmm. One, we didn't watch the full video, so mm -hmm. we don't know the full context. And we don't know this guy. Just period. So, you know, this is all by speculation of this one little clip that we watched. Mm -hmm. And I'm an empath. I got a real disgusting feeling over the video. He made me feel really disgusted. How so? Um, I date older. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't necessarily mean you're a bad person because you date older or you date younger. It doesn't necessarily mean that you're a bad person. What I've come to find out with older men is that they tend to date younger because you don't have to have your shit together with a younger girl. Because she, when you're younger, you don't really have your shit together. You're, you're mm -hmm. not mature. He can be as childish, irresponsible. Mm -hmm. He's not held to the same standard as he would be with an older woman. Mm -hmm. So when a lot of time for mm -hmm. that be, it's so it's like, yo, no. And mm -hmm. me being a younger woman who dated older, I'm also very mature. So I do hold guys to that standard. And a lot of older guys would be looking at me like, oh, you're too much. You're you're too mm -hmm. naggy or or you whatever. You think they go for that to expect yeah. it to be easier? Mm -hmm. My biggest problem, of course, it's easier. Of course. But my biggest problem with what he said is that he talked to his daughters. Now, as me and Benny said, we speculated that he's 50, 60 years old. We could mm -hmm. be wrong, but that's a speculation based on, you know, observation. Younger could be 40, 30. Mm-hmm. That's fair. The fact that you spoke to your daughters mean that you're very well likely to date somebody your daughter's age. Mm-hmm. Why would you feel the need to, mm -hmm. hey, just so you know, I'm going to be dating younger, unless that became a, a age It was thing. like young, young. Yeah, unless there could be possible conflict. Why would, the, why would there be possible conflict between your daughters and whoever you were dating unless there was a significant close range in age? So if it was like, say maybe he's, if we are right, he's maybe 55 going to his 60s, mm -hmm. and his daughters are maybe what? 20, 20, late 20s, eight, maybe approaching 30, mm -hmm. and he decides he wants to be dating people that age. And I love that you made that point as far as like younger can mean if you're 60, 45, it's still like okay, 59, that's still younger, but it's mm -hmm. still kind of like okay, you're a little bit of a grown woman. 40, 40 yeah. you know what I'm saying? So you're still a grown woman, but if you're anywhere within like you're talking about, you know, retirement, back pain, and knees, mm -hmm. I'm talking about being outside. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? I'm talking about let me hang out with my friends and do the things that I want to do. That's where 
I'm thinking my mind is going. So to me, it made me feel a little like, mm, mm -hmm. mm, what are we doing? And then we, we, it's my personal opinion. I know just a little while ago, we were just like praying here as a joke, but I feel like a lot of us are throwing the name of God real loosely. Yeah. Like, talk oh, about some you praying to the Lord no. to be relevant. No. Come on. God knows you are relevant. God is not going to try to have you out here stressing and being a, around mm. like the young crowd yeah. for God to feel like you're relevant. God knows you're relevant because you're his child. You're mm. his beloved child. Mm. It doesn't mean who you date or the crowd that you keep that's going to keep you relevant. Mm -hmm. You are relevant because you exist. You're a child of God. That's why you're relevant. So in my mind, I don't know that, first of all, you talk to God, or let alone that God is rewarding you, mm -hmm. you know, for having, you know, prayed to him. Like, I prayed to God, and God allowed me to have mm -hmm. this, like, mm, something right. about that don't sit right with me. And then it's like he's a relationship coach. I was like... So I was doing the math on my phone. If he's 55, mm -hmm. let's say... When did he have a kid? What's an appropriate age? Like 25. They kind of had kids a lot younger back in his day. So, you think so? Maybe yeah. 21. Okay, 19. I would say let's do like 17, 18. They, let's they, be fair and just put it 20. 20 cap. Okay, 20. Because this is an imaginary calculation okay. that we don't know this man's life. So if he's 55 and he had his first kid at 20, his kid would be approximately like 34, 35. You at 55, why did you feel that need to jump down? That, that is not young. And, like, even 35-year-old women is, like, you know, not saying that there's not youthful and young-spirited 35-year-old woman, but the way he said it was this generation. And he pointed to motherfuckers our age. Yeah. So it's like, you're wrong. Like, it's, He's it's wrong. not, it's like, not sitting. I, <laughs> it's very much predatorial. Betty don't want to say like, it, I, but I was, that, he's that, looking that, for a little girl to groom. That, that's the energy was giving. That's the energy. And it's like, you know, the, that guy, what's his name? Uh, Darius, Darius Jackson, the one that was a coach, mm -hmm. that the relationship I expert that he was like, broke my heart and then he, he did, did all that. that. I was like, I started looking at all of these, you know, granted, some of the things he would say would make sense. Like Darius Jackson, the things he would say, the advice he gave, like it would make sense. But it's like this constant thing of like, the whole idea of even being a relationship coach or a relationship expert to me feels wrong altogether. Let's start everybody there. Everybody is different. Everybody is different. How are you going to coach me in a relationship that you're not a part of? But wait, wait, wait. Let's clarify the, the social media mother efforts. If you went to school and studied psychology and sociology and how people think and how people move and their reactions and relationships with each other and you have scientific... Yeah, like a therapist or expert. something like That's that. Different. Yeah, like a therapist. But you on social media because you dated a couple girls and you felt like you knew where they went wrong and now you're an expert, you're wrong. Like, yeah, that, that's problematic to me. And giving the thing with, you know, the point that you made about a psychologist or somebody that went to school for this, I'm thinking like a Mary, you know, a marriage counselor. I'm thinking of all, all those people. They are working with specific couple, dealing with specific need within that specific dynamic. Mm -hmm. It's not this big umbrella of like, I just sit here and I talk about relationships that I'm not a part of. Mm -hmm. You know, so that that whole thing first of all is bizarre and then you add you are the relationship coach that only dates young because quote unquote you want to stay relevant baby no how are you a relationship coach and you're not in a relationship you've been divorced but that's neither here nor there i'm gonna give a similar well mm, i'm gonna give well <laughs> you know things that's things here and there. that's here and there like you can't think and fall apart like i don't want to you know yeah discard somebody for that but i'm just gonna like i it made me look at him sideways a little let bit. me give a similar experience um and it's just so funny that he had daughters because i had dated an older gentleman before mm -hmm. and um he had two for context how older than, than he at had the time been. he was 41 mm -hmm. and i was 21 what was that dynamic like? That's twenty years. That's a wait, whole. Wait. That's a whole nother thing. You know what I'm saying? I the age is wrong. I wasn't twenty one. I was twenty. I was twenty three, mm -hmm. and he was forty one. So that's like what eighteen years apart. Yeah, that's still a bit much. But so, no, it was a very context, good much. Yeah. Um, 
And he had two younger sons. Mm -hmm. His oldest son was 19. So I asked him, I said, dude, your kid is like 19. Like, that's not a problem for you? Mm -hmm. And he was like, oh, I have sons. They don't care. He said, maybe if I had daughters, they would. He said, but because I have sons, you know, they don't care. And specifically with this guy, uh... We stopped, I stopped dealing with him because he wanted me to move, he was pressuring me to move in with him. He wanted to pick my friends, decide my lifestyle. He wanted to control me. And I was like, you realize that's what he's taking that's on the parental he... role, mm-hmm. right? That's like he what he's from a romantic. He, like now you're coaching me how to live my life? No. Older we guys. We're in a relationship, date... it's a partnership, mm-hmm. we're equal. Older guys who date significantly young mm-hmm. are looking for somebody to control, somebody who's willing to obey. And that is grooming. And I just want to be clear on one thing, because 27-year-olds these days, we're not created equal, because oh, my knees are acting now. Baby, you could have as well gone ahead and... Hey, <laughs> actually get you're not going to be younger, baby. Like, who? Because I'm up there with them 30 Listen, years. Listen, I got to get up. I've got to be like this. Who child? <laughs> <laughs> you can't and just... Do the- I can't just do this. You know what I'm saying? Every time I climb up the stairs, it's not giving what you think it's giving. I got to take a little break. You know what I'm saying? Like, I got to be like, who? And now I'm rubbing my knees. Baby, we 27 year olds. We got specialty doctors too, baby. Like exactly. You you gotta go a little bit younger. Like, and, come on, look. like, and that's just gonna get really weird. And so. if you read the comments, somebody says, "Sir, you do not have a young spirit. You don't. You look old as hell. You talk about something. You running. You walk. There are so many women much Everybody's older than running. you that run and walk. People are running and walk, and I could tag them to you, like, bro, <laughs> like, no, that's like, a lot. That's you too see much. Tabitha? I love Tabitha. I love her whole family. Oh, Tabitha Brown? Yes. Yeah, they're very cute. Let me tell you something. And, and don't cute. play it because her man do not play about her. But look at how beautiful and healthy she is as mm-hmm. an older woman. Like, mm-hmm. you wrong. Anyway, Sha, moving forward. I don't want to hop on this man too much. Come on. Moving forward with people. We're going to pray for him. Pray for him. First of all, just buy your head. Hallelujah. Father God, in the name of Jesus. We pray that you ignore them prayers to make him relevant. (laughs) (laughs) Jesus, because we don't need him being Uh relevant in this generation. Uh Uh Let him leave the children alone. We need to stop. We need to stop giving everybody mics. Mm Because y'all are saying anything. And y'all be thinking y'all deep, throwing God in there like, stop it. I pray it. to the Lord. Stop it. Not my Lord. That prayer's just like bounce. He went like, sir, <laughs> no. Anyway, moving forward, the president of Kenya had to go ahead and set the record straight as to what was happening with his marital affairs. I'm just going to go ahead and let y'all hear this. I want to make it very clear that I have only one dear wife, Lucy, Who's here, and I do not have any other. Ask you any question you want to ask me, I'm happy to reply to them. Ask now or never. Lucy! <laughs> Lucy! Let me tell you something. What did Lucy say was that she gonna scan the room. She said, That's let me. somebody say something. <laughs> that was Lucy's press conference. That wasn't for the Lucy president. said, this what you gonna say, baby. Read it. Lucy been, let me tell you something. Lucy been Read running it. the country. Read it. Lucy, Lucy been mm-hmm. running that country. She been. Yo. You saw and her then thing. She said, but, she said, ask now or never. Ask <laughs> now or never. And then she scanned the room. So, so you say, you have all this question, yeah? Ask all the question now or, or never. <laughs> or never. Lucy was not playing with you hoes. Let me Lucy tell you something. Lucy was letting you know right now Come that in her man. marriage, like, you, y'all not gonna play these games. Ain't no side cheeks. Let me ain't no something. side ducks. Ain't no side nothing. She got tired of the press. The press was writing shit, saying like, that the husband was cheating. Mm-hmm. So he she said, wow. She said, set the record straight. She, she tapped that herself. Lucy was at the house, like... That was the shortest press like, conference in history. Yeah! That was, he said, ask all your questions now. <laughs> Lucy, ask now or never. <laughs> like, <laughs> bitch! <laughs> she I said she, now... I wish you would. Let me tell you something. That's what she That's said. That's a threat. I wish you would. That was a threat. She said, I, 
she says, speak now. <laughs> you know how your black mama like, speaks to their teeth like, <laughs> Yo, that was Lucy. Well, I tell that you, was Lucy. Lucy play no games. And there you have it. We're going to close this video right here because the camera stays being a hater. But please make sure that you subscribe to my channel. Check out Tika's info in the bio. Follow her. Show her some love. Do all of the things. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye, Zs.